Hey guys, it's Mesmi. Today I'm going to be talking about the recovery process after LASIK surgery here in Korea. So let's start our video. Okay guys, I think it's been around 40 days since my surgery and I am feeling great. Sometimes when I wake up, I think, oh my gosh, I gotta put my contact lenses on, but then I remember, oh wait, I can see, I got surgery. So I'm very happy, it was definitely worth it. Let me tell you about those couple of days that were actually not that bad. So right after the surgery, you go to the pharmacy and you're going to get your eye drops, which you need to be putting on every 10 to 15 minutes the first two days. So that actually wasn't very hard. Automatically, I just got used to it very quickly. I do suggest that you have a friend that take you home because it will be blurry those first couple of days. So I had my boyfriend to help me and he did help me go home and basically from there on you need to be wearing sunglasses for those couple of days I don't know um, I think it might differ for every person but as for me I was super sensitive to light so I did wear my sunglasses even here because if you've seen my apartment tour video this wall here it's missing because it's a window so this whole wall is an actual window so that was very very hard for me because I had to wear my sunglasses indoors and I had to build myself a little fort to even hide from the light because of all the all the light that was coming into my house. The first day I think is not that hard. My eyes, yes, they were watering but basically I think it was the fact that I just couldn't really do anything and I was bored so I think that was the hard part is just being bored and just laying there. It's been a while since I actually rested so I guess that's why I felt uncomfortable because I hadn't rested in a while and I'm like, well what do I do now? And I just kind of laid there for 16 hours. <laughs> um, but yeah, second day was pretty similar. I actually had a friend who helped drop off some groceries and just kind of have a human interaction because I was just really bored. Um, third day getting better, my eyesight was getting better, I was, you know, able to clean. I was able to just see my phone a little bit. The light was lowered all the way down, but as for, for communication reasons, I was able to see it just a little bit. Fourth day, I was able to see way better, so I thought, hey, I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna go grab a burger, I'll just wear my sunglasses, everything's going to be fine. Um, I, however, I didn't realize that I would still be sensitive to light, so the moment I went outside, my eyes started watering and I thought, this is a bad idea. So I went back inside and I'm like, oh well, another 16 hours of doing nothing, so uh, yeah, I just, fourth day I hung out, uh, fifth day I went shopping with a friend and my eyesight got better, way better, I could see things close up um, but not far. I think the sixth day I went back to work and I couldn't really see my students faces but I could see the screen. Uh, I did wear my sunglasses in the classroom because for some reason I have the brightest lights in my house and in my classroom. The seventh day honestly I didn't have to wear my sunglasses in the classroom but I still did because you're not allowed to wear makeup after your surgery so I was trying to hide my face and that's why I wore my sunglasses for the rest of the week. <laughs> and that following uh, Saturday was my checkup just to see that everything went well. By that time, I was able to see well. So I was able to go there alone. And yeah, they basically said that my vision is getting better. Uh, they switched my eye drops to a different one. So I was, that, I was to use those for a couple weeks while I waited for my next appointment. And after 30 days, I switched my eye drops again. And just in case, I have the little one day eye drops that you can put on if your eyes get dry. Luckily, that has not been a symptom for me. I do not, I did not experience any dry eyes, but I still put my eye drops just in case. And guys, wow, this is like a weird feeling being able to see everything without like having that gap of the glasses or without having dry eyes because of the contact lens I definitely think it was worth it because I paid $70 a month for contact lenses a month so basically if you add up all of that that basically could have paid for a surgery but no I was just spending money and money and money and money 
So guys, I really recommend that you get this surgery. I recommend you do take those couple of days off so you can rest because your eyes are very important. You'll get more instructions after your surgery about what to do and what not to do. Follow those instructions because those eyes are very important. Remember, even though it's a five minute surgery, it is a surgery, so you need to take care of that wound while it heals and I promise you if you do that you're going to have perfect vision and you're just going to enjoy yourself so after you get lasik guys keep wearing those sunglasses when you go outside keep putting on your eye drops you're going to be happy in the next couple of seconds I'm going to show you how to get to glory soul eye clinic it's very very easy definitely go there and guys if you are interested in going and getting a surgery there contact me so I can get you in contact with them because they have told me that they could give you a discount. So please message me if you're interested so I can get you in contact with them and you can get yourself a discount for your surgery. Hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe and even follow Glory Soul Eye Clinic on their Facebook. Message them. They do speak English. Very kind staff. Very kind doctors. I only have good things to say about them. So yeah. I hope to see you all soon and go get your surgery done. Bye!